S-U-S. Ride is being seen by the glass house's second in command. You've been with us since just before Christmas, haven't you? Yes, sir. Now, you came in with drug, a drugs problem. Have you still got this problem? Yes, sir. Great. Because when did you start taking drugs? It was just um, the once, sir. Just the once? Because it is noticeable. I've read your commanding officer's report before you came here. You're a bloody good soldier. And suddenly you took drugs and you went downhill. You've been a fool so far in your life. You've only got one life, okay, Doug? So when you go out here, keep off the drugs. But if you go back to the drugs, you're going to ruin the second part of your life. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Right. Let's go back to what you've done here. Have we been of any help to while you've been here? Um, you haven't, you haven't, sir. Well, how have we helped her? Um, you've given me time to sort myself out, to yeah. think about the problems that I have, that I have had. And um, just generally giving me the push towards Civvy Street. Okay, I've got to ask you: Have, any, have you any complaints about the treatment you received while you've been here? No, sir. Right, Arthur. Right, turn! Step off, quick! Oh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 as you were. Party! Party! Right, you've both been released today. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it, you still look like servicemen. When you leave the establishment, make sure you don't talk about anything relating to the army, because otherwise there's eyes and ears about everywhere. Somebody may hear or overhear what you're saying. Next thing you know, you become a target. Do you understand? Sorry, sir. Remember? Your hours until 23.59 hours tonight, should you get drunk on the train or commit any offences, are picked up by the military or civilian police, you'll be brought back with you and you'll be dealt with accordingly. We're dealing with um, a lot of service personnel who've gone off the lines, but really, they're not bad people. Uh, in fact, there's quite a lot of them that I would willingly take to war with me any time. Private Wright has received the news she's been longing for. The army has decided to dispense with her services. <laughs> she's dismissed and gets out tomorrow. The discharge is going through. Well, she's over the moon at the moment because um, she's just not cut out for the armed forces. She doesn't like discipline. She doesn't like being told what to do. We have to try with everybody that comes here, and um, that's our job. We try and motivate them, but some people, you just can't motivate them, whatever you do. And she's just one of them people, I'm afraid. Private Wright will soon be a civilian. This is her final interview with the camp commandant. Right, sir, excuse me. She's aware it's a formality. Um, right, you're leaving here to... Um to go back to Per right, to pick up your kit to become a civilian, is that correct? Yes, as sir. you understand it, right? As soon as and I how, how long have you been in the army? Not long. Two months and 25 days, sir. So what do you intend to do when you leave the army? So I'm going to be paramedic or a nurse, sir. But whatever you choose to do next time, for heaven's sake, stick at it. Because otherwise you'll go through the early part of your life going from job to job to job and never really getting anywhere. So whatever you choose to do, and I hope you're successful being paramedic, stick at it and be determined to make a success of it. Right, sir. Macho. Army number? W0825313, staff. If I never see this place again, it'll be too soon. I just, I never ever want to go into prison again in my life. Yeah. It's just, it's just a nightmare. Ready to go. When you... Get a get right there. Right there. Come on, get a get this desk. Just two minutes, we're just waiting for a bell bell button, mate. I can't wait to get out and just start. I wanted to get to the train station and be a civvy. I missed my mates, I was crying earlier. Because the mates are making air like mates for life. Just glad I'm out. <laughs> Less than 6% of those sent to the glass house re-offend. Civilian prisons report that nearly half of their inmates are reconvicted. My name is Major Chapman. I'm the army missing officer. If any of you have any complaints, Please take one step forward. Any complaints anywhere? No complaints any staff. Any complaints anywhere? No complaints.
Blake's doing, sir! 